SBLWT, we work to highlight the programs and people who are making a difference for our youth. And the Cincinnati Museum Center is doing their part in the effort. Joining us this morning is Terry Dickey from the Museum Center and Hannah and Alex Lehman. Thanks for coming in this morning, everyone. Thank you for having us. Let's start off with what the Difference Makers program is. Yes, thank you. First, thank you to Channel 5, WLWT, and to you, Jennifer, for having us on this morning. We are in our seventh year for Difference Makers Celebration, and this started out of the Duke Energy Children's Museum as a way to recognize individuals, adults, businesses, including nonprofit organizations who are making a difference in the lives of children. Uh, if you think about when you were younger, maybe you or your friends had a little lemonade stand, mm -hmm. and you raised 10 bucks and you donated it to cancer research. Well, we want to recognize those youth who are doing that kind of effort in our community. And specifically, it's not really the, the impact they're making so much as it is with the thought process mm -hmm. that goes into the youth for doing that. Uh, so for this year, we have a nomination process that closes on October 10th. And the way to nominate folks uh, is to go on to cincymuseum.org mm -hmm. forward slash difference hyphen maker. Or you can go on to our website and just search for Difference Makers and you'll find out how to nominate folks. This year... What did these guys do? Alex and, oh, yes. Alex and Hannah, what did you guys do for the program that you won? Um, well, we have our book charity called Adopt Book and we collect new and gently used books for kids that um, don't have access to books or don't have regular access or any access. So uh, an mm -hmm. effort by both of you, and you both won the award, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how long have you guys been doing this? Since, well, we've been doing this since um, uh, De December 2011. Wow, so a couple of mm -hmm. years worth of yep. effort for this. And how many books have you collected about? 53,607. Wow, I wasn't prepped for that answer. That's amazing. <laughs> Where are you guys getting uh, just spreading the word to your community that you're helping out and people are donating from everywhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fantastic. And so, how did the museum center find out about these great kids and their great effort? They were nominated, as you said. Yes, and we have have an overwhelming response from the community, who know of these unsung heroes, mm -hmm. uh, similar to the Layman family, Hannah and Alex, and the wonderful wonderful work they're doing, and they were nominated. Um, that's great. How can people get involved in the adopt a, adopt a book program? Well, they can um, donate books and um, volunteer. And there's and monetary donations because we like we are saving for an office space and a, like a vehicle. That's fantastic! Make. Congratulations, guys, on great effort and great a win by the uh, or uh, an award by the museum center. So thanks for all your hard work. Best of luck, another fifty-three thousand, right? <laughs> At least. And thank you to the Museum Center for all of your efforts. For One that. more point to add for all the youth nominees, all of them will go through a very transparent uh, interview process, and all the youth nominees will be recognized at the Difference Maker Celebration on February 7th, which is a Saturday, a very family friendly event. It starts at 5 p.m. So we encourage the community to nominate not only the youth, but also for businesses, nonprofits, school groups, scout groups, uh, anybody and any entity that is making a difference in the lives of children. Great. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. For more information on the Adopt a Book program or to nominate someone for the Museum Center's Difference Makers, go to the On TV tab of WLWT.com, then click on the As Seen On section, and we'll link you to both of them. Terry, Hannah, and Alex, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.